Hello Seed Savers! I'm Bonnie from Circle City Seeds and today I'm going to show you all the seeds that I ordered for the 2024 growing season. I actually ordered less than I normally do because we are anticipating moving into a new house which will mean a bigger garden for me. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies and they're not in any particular order and they're all great. So let's dig in. This package I got is from Southern Exposure Seed Exchange. This packaging is actually from Eco Enclosed, which is a company I actually love. It's what I send all of my packages out in. This is the reusable bubble mailer. I usually do the cardboard mailer or the padded mailer. And there's only one in here. This is the Thai Red Rosalie Hibiscus. I have several hibiscuses in my yard currently, but they are rose mallow hibiscuses, and those are just flowers. This hibiscus is actually the one that you make tea out of, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna to have to do some experiments with this one I'm not sure if it will, I know it will die back in the winter, but I don't know if it's perennial here in Indiana. So my plan is to have some outside and one, I'll put one in a pot too and put it inside. I'll have to figure out how big of a pot I need for that though. So that's that one. This one is from Johnny Seeds. Okay. This one is a uh, blush onions. I've grown these before from a different company and they're great. They're just a slightly purple onion um, and they get, you know, pretty good size, not monster size, but good size and they taste good. And I was just out, so I needed to get some more. This one is eucalyptus. I got this to try and just grow it and try to save the seeds from. So this is 50. Oh, they're hanging out right there. This one is a hybrid onion. That's the T448F1. It is an onion that you sow in the fall and then it overwinters and you harvest it in the spring. So I love onions and garlic. So I wanted to try that out this year. And then this, I got a tomato. It is a Martha Washington tomatoes. Don't remember why I picked it. So that was it from Johnny's. It for that one. This one's from Baker Creek. I have this cute little package. Baker Creek usually has a free seed and it's usually lettuce for me, so we'll see what we get. This is a melon. It's a Japanese tiger melon. I love honeydew, and this is a green melon. And it says it's a pocket-sized melon, so it's smaller. So I got that one to try. This is Love in a Mist. I grew a blue version of this last year, and I'm pretty sure a bunny or something ate it 
So I'm going to try both the blue and the, it's like a nice little, like a reddish purple color. This is a loofah and I got this one. It's my ones from last year weren't ready yet and I had to pick them and they just now started turning brown. I can't hear the seeds rattling in there yet. I'm gonna peel these here in the next couple days. But the kind I had were 120 days to harvest. This one's supposed to be I think 100 days. So that might be better for me to get a loofah. This one's a carrot. I love a different carrot that they have. And I'll put up a picture and the name of for another carrot that I get from Baker Creek. And there's the free lettuce. I have not heard of that one. But it looks like a lettuce from Istanbul, Turkey. not Constantinople. So that's fun. Lemongrass, I wanted to grow some to maybe put into tea. I don't know if you can dry that like you can other herbs and stuff. And I think it is supposed to repel mosquitoes. So we're going to try that. Okay, this is a really big yellow onion. That I ordered Johnny's also had it, but the number of seeds per cost of the packet or whatever, it was a better deal to get it at Baker Creek. But yeah, they're like ginormous onions. It says a long day onion that reaches massive size. Five pounds is rather common. So I like me some big onions. This looks like just stuff. So that was it for Baker Creek. And then this one from MI Gardener. And that was actually the first one I ordered. I think I ordered this during like Black Friday. It's been sitting here a while. Awkwardly open the package. I ordered both seeds and some trifecta. I ordered a lot of seeds from MI Gardener. I had a gift certificate. And they had a Black Friday sale. So I got a whole buttload of stuff. I got spaghetti squash because I have not had that yet and I heard it's good. I got another zucchini. I've tried a couple years to grow zucchini and it hasn't done well. And I thought that was supposed to be one of the easy ones to grow. And it sounds like you just want a couple plants or else you'll be drowning in zucchini. So I'll only have like two to four plants. And I think I've got, gotten one like six inch zucchini in two years. And I think that was like the Ford hook or something zucchini. This one's the Black Beauty. Kakuzi squash. This is snake gourd. So this flavor is like cucumber meat zucchini. And they're just long giant things kind of like lufa. I got artichoke mostly because I just want to grow some for the flowers. These make some really cool flowers. I don't really think I've had artichoke like once but it was just mostly you're just scraping for the butter. So I'm gonna grow that for a to make a video on how to save the seeds but mostly just for the flowers for the bees is cinnamon basil. I grew last year, I don't even know what you call it, like regular basil. 
probably Genovese basil or whatever. Uh, regular basil, I grew lemon basil and I grew holy basil and I love the smell of basil. So we'll see how the cinnamon goes. This is a Roma tube bush bean. I've only done whole beans before. This one's a bush bean. So I think I'm gonna try to put it in my green stock planters. And actually my mother-in-law gets these from the farmer's market and loves them. So <laughs> I wrote it down when she was telling me that they were Roma bush beans. So we're gonna try growing those and hopefully we can have some ready for her when she visits. I got some borage. It's a native plant here for Indiana. This little flower. It's a perennial. I don't think it flowers its first year. I don't think. I'll have to check on that. I got some lavender because apparently the seeds that I have are not actually lavender. Uh, a viewer sent me an email for my video for lavender seeds, which is one of my more popular videos. It's actually hyssop seeds. And I thought they were lavender because I got the lavender plant from a little nursery. Actually, it was a little farmer's market and they had all kinds of little plants. Uh, but it was labeled as lavender and had been grown for years. And there were little tiny purple flowers and they smelled really good. And I, this whole time I thought it was lavender. It's not, it's hyssop. So we're gonna try to actually grow lavender. And that is also supposed to, I think, keep mosquitoes away. Eggplant, I've never grown a little eggplant, but this looks like a nice kind of, you know, nice sized purple eggplant to try. This is a grain don't know if it is a uh, holus or not but I'm, I'm really excited to try grains I have some packets from last year I never got out because I had way too many seeds to plant and I didn't really have good like growing instructions of when to start them like I didn't know if you could transplant them or not or how to space them it sounded like you just clear a spot and throw them out but I assume it's after at least yeah I'm not sure if it's after the frost or what it says plant spacing dense it needs to be for germination temperature 40 to 65 so I'll have to look at my calendar to see when the nights are usually sporting this is long grain rice. Nice. Okay. I forgot I ordered this because I was just searching the other day to try to find upland rice. So this is long grain rice and it's rice that doesn't need a rice patty to grow. So it doesn't need that much water. You still keep it kind of damp. It sounds like you have to watch it though. It says to maintain constant moisture. For unstunted growth but it also says it's container friendly so I may put them in a big old container this is dinosaur kale I have never actually had kale it sounds like my husband does not like kale he's had it and I asked him if he had kale chips and he said yes and he didn't like them so I'm going it to A, see if I like it, and B, just to learn to save the seeds from them. It's a red Russian kale. It's another common variety. This is Slobo arugula. I actually don't enjoy <laughs> arugula very much in my salads and things. I got this to learn to save the seeds. I assume they're very similar to lettuce, but my mom told me a story about how she almost choked on arugula so every time it's in my salad i'm like hyper aware like don't choke don't choke uh upland cress got 
these to put into like salads and stuff and to learn to save the seeds. This uh, might be a free freebie seed, I guess. That's what I'm guessing this is. It says salad bowl mix. Just a whole bunch of different little greens, I guess. It's a little, little card. Chamomile. Because they're cute little adorable flowers. I figured I could save some for tea and learn how to save the seeds in that. Spearmint, because I've never actually grown mint, and I know that it likes to spread very fast, so that will be going probably in the green stock, if that's deep enough for it. So keep an eye on that one. I apparently already ordered those onions. That never happens. Where'd those go? I thought I checked my order too to make sure I wasn't double ordering stuff. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yep. Same onion. But yeah, they get huge. So that's okay. Cause this has 75 seeds in there. This has 300 seeds. So I'll just use up this package first. That never happens to gardeners ever. They'll get used. Got a pimento pepper. I've got family that comes from Kentucky where they make pimento cheese. So I thought that I would get some of this. So maybe my mom wouldn't have to get the little jar of pimentos. Got coral bell peppers. I still have not had real good luck growing sweet peppers. And I don't know why. I've tried them in both containers and in the ground. And I'll get like a couple, but I'll have like 20 plants. I've got red peppers. I got the red peppers to try and grow a whole bunch of red peppers so I can make some paprika. Red corno di toro pepper. It's a Italian sweet grilling pepper. This is lilac bell pepper. Still trying to get some freaking purple peppers to grow. This is just a really cute sunflower. It's the Autumn Beauty Sunflower. It is a multi-headed sunflower. It says they're good for cut flowers. And I got some peanuts. This is the most awkward seed packet. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Grows best in well-drained soil. One plant can yield 50 to 60 pods each. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. 80 to 90. Yeah, so that will be interesting. I've never grown them. I feel like I saw a video once on how peanuts grow and it was weird. So that's all the new seeds that I've ordered for this year. And I'm going to be busy putting these into my little spreadsheet. And I may make a future video showing how I'm planning my garden this year. Since we're moving, I'll get to start from scratch, which will also mean moving garden beds and soil. And I'm already exhausted before we've even started. But that'll be when the soil warms up a bit. So I've got a little bit of time for that. Wait, I forgot. The other thing that I ordered for in my gardener was some of this Trifecta Plus. And it sounds like it is a fertilizer. Looks like it's a 5104. I usually try to do organic slow release fertilizer. That's usually pretty even in numbers. Does it even say that it's organic? Technically does not, but I'm pretty sure they make it there. So I got this because I still had, still had money to burn on my gift certificate. And I wanted to try this out. This is the three pound bag. And it seems like a lot, especially if, Oh, cool. 
It says you can put it in seedlings. So I may do that. Because right now for my seedlings, I have a non-organic liquid fertilizer, which is fine. I fill up one of my little... Is it on this one? Yeah, can't even see anymore. I fill up one of these with water and I put two drops of that liquid fertilizer in there for seedlings. And that's how much fertilizer they get. So even if it's not organic, it's not, it's not that much. But yeah, so I got that. I'm going to try that this year. But thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about saving all different types of seeds, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what seed saving video you would like to see next. Happy seed saving. Happy gardening.